Hello, and welcome back to the Web Dev Coach, where my goal is to teach you web development. To recap the last video, uh, we imported quotes data from the internet, from a uh, gist, and we were able to render a random quote uh, from the array of quotes onto the screen uh, whenever the app component actually mounted uh, onto our application. Um, in this video, uh, my goal is to randomly uh, choose a new quote when we click the uh, button. So we click a button, a new quote is chosen, and I want to extract the button and also the rendered quote into its own component. I'm going to call this quote machine component and we'll pass uh, props such as the button's click handler and the actual selected quote. So um, again, everything you see is that's crossed off was done in the last video. So if you weren't able to check that video out, please do so, go for it. Let's get to some code. Um, so the first thing that I actually want to do is um, create a method that actually uh, sets the state for a new selected quote index. So uh, what I want to do is um, basically I'm going to extract this line here. And um, there we go. And what I want to do is create a new method. I'm going to call it assign new quote index. And I'll actually let this method here take care of setting the state of select quote index and it'll set it to a, a randomly generated um, index between zero and the length of the quotes array minus one. So um, now that I extracted that out of here, I actually want to replace the function with this dot assign new quote index. We'll pass it the function. We will not call that function because that'll be basically passing in um, the wrong thing. We don't want to call it. We just want to pass in a function. What a callback uh, takes, what this parameter takes is a function, not the result of a function. Now, since this function is using this, the variable this, uh, up top in our constructor, we want to remember to bind uh, this. So um, we do this whenever we create a function that is using the variable this. Now, um, let's see. And uh, lastly, we want this uh, method here to be called whenever we push this button. So what we want is to take the assigned new quote index and actually call it whenever the button is pressed. Great, um, that's really it for now. Let's see if it works. Now before we're able to see if anything works, uh, we actually have to start our um, development server. And uh, that's done if you used create react app to start the application, to create the application by running npm start. Now, uh, you'll see here as before, a random quote is thrown, splashed onto the page when it uh, creates itself. But let's just see if the button actually works. We click the button and uh, there you go. Now what the button is doing, it's not necessarily um, creating a new quote or getting a new, uh, getting a new quote um, into anything. All it really does actually is changes the select um, quote index of of our uh, state. So it just changes a number, to be honest. And I'm actually going to use the React Dev Tools to um, illustrate this. Now take, keep your eyes on selected quote index here on the bottom right. You'll see that whenever I click the button, nothing else changes, not the array, only that number. It changes uh, the index and that gives us access to a, another quote in the array. Uh, great job, everybody. We, we have a working button. Nicely done. Um, now I want to do some code cleanup. So we're not going to add any new functionality uh, from here on in in this video. On the next video, of course, I will. But I just want to clean up some code. I have uh, a warning down here that the uh, selected quote um, get getter function should uh, return something. So I'm actually going to return undefined. And for the select quote index, I don't love that name. So I'm going to rename it to generate new quote index. Uh, there we go. 
And I actually want to describe, add descriptions to my functions. That way, uh, you at home have a better idea of what's going on. It's a little easier if it's written. So I'm going to write returns on integer between 0. Um, basically, returns an integer representing an index in state dot quotes. Uh, if state dot quotes is empty, returns undefined, and um, I want to make this explicit. Return uh, nothing does return undefined, but it's probably better if I'm explicit about it. That way, you at home uh, have a better idea of what's going on. So this is what the code looks like for now. Uh, the next step is actually extracting these two lines into its own um, component. And the way we do this, the way we start this, is to actually add a uh, quote machine.js file. I'm going to go back to my app index here, uh, highlight these two lines and start making my new component. So we're going to import React from React. Uh, let's see. Const quote machine equals some function that takes in props and returns to us uh, these two lines. Now, um, basically, let's see, export default, sorry quote machine. Okay, so that is the boilerplate. Now, we can't um, return two siblings. Uh, so here we have two siblings. We have to return uh, only one uh, component or one HTML element. And uh, one way to fix this is actually uh, you can re write react.fragment and then close react.fragment. And that'll be our uh, parent. That way we don't add any extra divs into the HTML DOM. We can use that. And a quick shortcut for writing react.fragment is actually an empty, uh, op empty opening and closing tags. Um, so there you go. Now, selected quote will not be coming from this. It will be coming from props. So we can uh, replace this with props, and assign new quote index is also coming from props. Uh, lastly, we want to import the button uh, from uh, button. So we want the button from the component we created in our, uh, I believe it was the first video. Uh, so there we go. We have that all set up. Uh, that's a component now. We need to go back into app to actually start using that. So let's import uh, the quote machine from components.quotemachine. We'll go back down here, and this will return a quote machine. And if you remember the two props that we needed, um, I know I don't, uh, is select quote and assign new quote index. I'll copy those two. And there we go. And let's see, selected quote we'll get from this dot selected quote. And assign new quote index is our, uh, is the method called is when we click the button, and that is up here. So now we extracted the, those two lines into its own component. It'll be easier to finagle with in the future when we want to add styling and everything. So let's go back to our application, make sure everything is working. It looks like I may have broken something. Nope, uh, we're all good. The next quote works. So we didn't add any functionality here, but we did extract the uh, two lines into its own component. Now only quote machine is responsible for rendering and uh, calling that click, uh, click handler. That's really all I wanted to tackle this video. I'm going to try and make these videos a little more bite-sized, a little shorter for um, your viewing pleasure. Um, anywho, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, like it on YouTube. Um, if you like my video style, please subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram at the Web Dev Coach. Um, that's all, folks, and I'll see you next time.